my channel so today I'm going to show you guys how I finally wash my hair using the Dr. Brunner's and also Peel 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 I'm going to show you techniques that I use to wash my hair as well because I think it's very vital um, and it play a big part in your natural hair growth as well how you wash your hair many people usually wash their hair just in a natural state with an you know, afro which can cause matting and also breakage so by washing your hair in sections as what well, I'm going to show you in the video it kind of help to not also define your curls but it kind of help to reduce breakage as well and makes it a little bit more easy I tried to do this video before and um, I realized that my volume button was not up so therefore um, it didn't came out too good so I wanted to redo it and today's a perfect day because I just get home from work and it's also the day that I chose to wash my hair so this hopefully works so things properly. you are going to need will be this which is your pure Castile soap you're also going to need extra virgin olive oil and, and definitely last but not least you're going to need a water bottle to actually use it so what I'm going to do wash now I'm going to take down this lovely hairdo and I'm going to section my hair in ponytail and I'm going to show you guys how I do that I'm just going to put in two little pigtails. So that's one. So by doing it this way, it makes it so much better and easier to wash your hair. And it also reduces breakage and matting. And the front, I'm going to look so totally ridiculous. <laughs> but it's okay, just for the sake of video. So let's do the front. Now I look like a 12 year old in makeup. This is ridiculous. So let's get started. So first thing we're going to do, we are going to add like two tablespoons of the pure Castile soap to a f half a bottle full of water. All right, and then we're going to add your vinegar and like two tablespoons of vinegar as well and a tablespoon of olive oil. And this is what your mixture should look like because I already started um, making this mixture. So this is what it should look like. So now we're going to start washing our hair. So I'm just going to do the front part of my hair to show you what it should start looking like already. So my hair is in an old twist out as you can see. And this is like five days and I usually wash my hair like every other day. I am slacking a bit because my hair is getting longer and it's... I don't know, you get lazy. Sometimes I get really, really lazy. The longer your hair gets, the lazier you get. So I just do, um, you know, protective style. Sometimes I leave in an afro. I, I wear it out in an afro like twice. But yeah, so that's what it looks like. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start. Use my spray bottle. I'm just going to miss, miss my hair like that. Just get it really nice and saturated. And what I'm going to do is start massaging my hair as well. So you see you still get a, little, a lot of sud out of it. And we, we have the olive oil in there. So can you imagine? Without, you know, diluting it, what it would be like. And for some reason, this peppermint always make me sneeze. And, <laughs> and I still use it. It's... It's ridiculous. And I love to wash my hair like this. As I mentioned, I never wash my hair in, you know, in an afro state, like in an afro like that. I love to wash my hair in section like this. So what I'm doing now, I'm just going to gently start massaging my scalp. Never scrub like that. You want to just massage because this is going to increase your blood flow. And it's also going to help to promote healthy hair. Um, hair and growth as well 
as help to get rid of all those impurities on your scalp. So I usually take my hands and lightly go over the ends of my hair like this. But you just really, really want to massage it into your hair. And the peppermint oil, I mean the peppermint shampoo. And the Dr. Bronner shampoo makes your hair really, really nice and mush. And just one key that I noticed with the Dr. Bronner shampoo versus it, um, my Shea Moisture that I've been using. This makes my hair really, really nice and defined. Like, it defines my curls. Like, I don't... Look, look at that. It is clumped together. I don't know what's in it. Uh, maybe it's the oils that's in there as well. But it really defines my curls, and I really like that a lot. That's why so I love this. I don't think I'll be switching any one of my soon. staple products, so I'm very happy about that. I'm happy that I found it, I should say. So I usually take like, you know, say six minutes to finish one section. Depends on the size of the section, actually, but for the rest of the video, I'm going to just fast forward it so, you know, you can see. But pretty much, I want to just show you guys how I basically wash my hair and I want to show you I don't have a lot of dirt but it was quite dirty yeah it's filthy I need to wash my hair more often and I do wash my hair every time I don't co-wash like I used to anymore I don't know what happened but I don't co-wash my hair like I used to as I said I'm getting really really lazy so what I do next I'm just going to take back my same um, ponytail holder I'm just gonna put our section back in a ponytail like that and I'm gonna finish up the sections so you can guys can see it So as you can see, I just finished shampooing my hair in sections and I look absolutely ridiculous, um, but it feels really good. It's tingling, which is what I love the most. I usually just let it sit for a couple of minutes like this and then I rinse it out, but I like the tingly feeling. So just leave it for like, you know, like two, three minutes, let it just tingle a little you bit, know, let it stimulate. Alright, so I'm gonna go rinse up my hair and I'll come back and show you what the what it looks like after I rinse out the shampoo of my hair. <laughs> so stick around for that. Okay guys, so I just finished rinsing my hair, rinsing the shampoo up my hair, so I wanna show you what it looks like after I finish rinsing out the shampoo. So that's one side. Let's take the scrunch here. Well, I can tell you my hair is super so soft like my hair is so soft so this is what it looks like so you can see my shirt got a little bit wet so this is what it looks like and it's really really soft 
and that's why I love the Dr. Brunner soap and mixing it as well with the olive oil also make my hair as you can see my curls are really really nice and they're fine as well and it gives me and I don't even have any condition in my hair as well and I can actually run my fingers through my hair like that so I have a pretty little afro okay so now that I've just rinsed out the condition in my hair I'm going to deep condition it and I'm going to use my Asic Secret Healing Clay and what I did I actually mixed it in with again my extra virgin olive oil and I mixed it in with my vinegar my 100% natural Hanes vinegar and I put it into this um, OVO5 shampoo bottle make it quite easier for me to use um, so what I'm going to do now I'm going to take down this section and I'm going to start from the back so I'm going to take my hand and just finger part my hair like this Okay guys, so I just finished um, applying the product to my entire hair. So this is what it looks like. Let me remind you, this thing is so heavy. Feels like I have someone sitting on top of my head right now. But this is what the end result look like. This is a really nice do. I think I could wear this on the outside.